There's only one picture of me as a child. I stand beside my crouching father and behind my younger sister, Delsa. Papi faces the camera as if begging forgiveness. I stare straight ahead, wondering what's going to happen next. I fell in love. We were married. We had children. And I wanted my children to know what my life had been like. And so, I began to write. Memoir as a form is created every time it's written because no one has had your life and no one has lived it in quite the same way and no one has seen the world through the eyes that are in your head. So a memoir, to me, is not necessarily what happened. It's what you remember. It's very hard to keep our traditions and culture in place and her books have uh, pushed me into keeping that alive. The rest is twins. <laughs> I it's think a, it's so. a girl, right? Yeah, it's a girl. I use the public speaking as a way to work through problems, themes, issues, concerns from my readers and to learn what's on their mind and then eventually I end up writing about it. I would have never in a million years imagined when I was a little girl in Puerto Rico, going to school, learning pollito chicken, that someday English would be the language in which I addressed the rest of my life. That if you learn one language, you lose the fear. You lose the fear of learning any other language because your own language doesn't frighten you. It's the one that your mom and dad spoke to you. It's the one that was used to express how much you were loved how much you were cared for, how somebody wanted you to sleep safely, how you wanted the heavens to protect you. It was used for the prayers that you learned in your childhood. Our lives depend on being able to communicate. I really thrive in solitude. I am most myself when I'm alone. Truly able to focus on who I am and what I'm feeling.